Hello, it's Basic Weekly, back with another video, and this is my third uh, Blender tutorial video, and this time I'm going to show you how to do split screen if you want to compare two objects or just want two objects to be shown on this at the same time in a video. I actually have used this several times in the past, one time in my top five filming tips or something like that, uh, and one other time in uh, my iPhone 5S review. I compared HDR to non-HDR. This time I'm going to do something a little bit more simple and just put two random videos up that I used for my last video. So let's do uh, maybe this one and then we'll go ahead and delete the audio because we do not need the audio. And we can also use this one. So this is just the ear cup uh, close up and what's the other one? Uh, the other one's just to look at the headphones I think. And so first we're going to extend it to so it can um, you know, enclose the entire video or you like actually you can actually see the entire video. Uh, and we're also going to delete this hangover from this video so they're the same length. So as you know to do that it's just either K or uh, strip, cut soft frame. So X to delete it. And then now we have two same length videos. I'm not going to put this in like an example or anything. Like I'm not going to put this uh, surrounding other videos because I really want this to be a quick tutorial. So basically all we have to do for this is very simple as we just right click and we go to add effect strip and then transform. We're going to need this for both of them. Uh, transform. And I think I'd suggest putting one to alpha over and one to alpha under just to make things simpler so I'm gonna put this one to alpha over and this one to alpha under that'll just make them one above the other and it really doesn't matter because they're just gonna be kind of 50% onto the screen so now that we both have both of them um, we can go ahead and move one to one side and really all it is to do that is just using the position X and Y on transform so how about we move the bottom one to the left so to do that we just kind of experiment so let's try like 50 I don't think that'll work, but let's try it. And we could try negative 50 on this one. That actually might put this one to the left. Yeah, I think I did it wrong. But whatever, this one's going to be on the left. So now, as you can see, they're both 50% on screen. But I kind of want this to be centered. I don't want it to just kind of be on, uh, at the end over here. So that's why we put one as alpha over and one as alpha under. I think we actually put this one as alpha over, but it should be alpha under. So let me just try this real quick. So... This one, yes, this one should be alpha over, this one should be alpha under. So that means we can now put uh, move this one to where the ear cup is in the middle, but it'll still look to be 50% because this is this video is actually under this one. So now all we have to do is go back to the position and just experiment. So let's try um, negative 25. See, it's not, oh, that's negative 35. That's why, negative 25, sorry. So now, as you can see, the ear cup is basically centered but I kind of want it to just experiment a bit more and maybe do 27 uh, 30 I think 30 should be good negative 30 that should be perfect so now as you can see uh, both videos are playing side by side just like this and you can see both of them side by side and then uh, you can uh, add labels to both of them using the text that I used last video and also something to note is that you don't have to use Pixlr for this uh, to add text. You can use something like GIMP or Photoshop, anything where you can save a PNG. So that's basically it. I mean, uh, this was a short video and I really kind of wanted it to be a short video because it's very simple and I did not know how to do it for the longest time. And um, with Blender, everything's really confusing and hard to do. So I just want to make a quick tutorial. And uh, so... Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let's just kind of watch this back. Uh, I might also play it because this is very slow. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And before I go, I'd actually like to tell you about my friends over at Deranged Computing. They're a new company that just started this year, actually. And they're specialized in all-in-one managed indexing, web hosting, graphic, and website design. So if you want a website, these are your guys. The company is actually made up of three people, Zach Perkins, Zach Wolf, and Dylan Thomas. Zach Perkins is considered the owner of Deranged Computing and is one of the two coders that works for Deranged Computing. Zach Wolf is the second coder and website editor that works with Zach Perkins. And Dylan Thomas is a graphic design artist. He works on logos and other graphics that can be used in your website. 
If you want to contact them, just go to derangedcomputing.com, link in the description, and go to their contact page. Using my own personal, very special, amazing promo code, Bixel Weekly, you can actually get 10% off your first order on the already crazy low prices. I've actually known the owner, Zach Perkins, since I was in 4th grade. We both went to the same intermediate school, and I was super excited when he told me he was starting his own business. These guys are awesome, and I encourage you to check them out at the link below, and don't forget to use promo code Bixel Weekly when you get in contact with them. Thanks! So now let's end this out. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and stay tuned for more Bixel Weekly.